as creators to leave to send a document into the world in whatever form a video a production a, a text how, how do you balance what you need to inform people about versus letting leaving something open? i think that's a great question because i even as i think of that now i'm like okay so do you go back through and do you do one edit of the draft where you say you call them M and F, or you say that, like, you know, and what if someone's like, well, hey, I'm like, I'm non binary, like, where do I fit into this? But in some way, you have a female identifying and a male identifying performer, and that you actually, like, do you do a really comprehensive version of the draft where you say that explicitly? This person is like now this, and this person is that, to be really prescriptive, or do you? not because you're like well that's how we did it but that doesn't have to be how you do it mm. i don't know i'm not sure what the answer is yeah but i definitely see the sort of two ways that you could go in regards to that sort of gender question also like the 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 subject matter of gender and power has has obviously been a big part of the collective dialogue since while you know, over the time that we've been yeah, making totally. this yeah. and that is that has shifted quite a lot and in our first season we're probably a bit more explicit uh, and we've pulled some of that stuff out to try and make it a little bit just a, a little bit more timeless as opposed to mm. um of a time mm. and but inevitably over the next four years that will ch and and the collective unconscious bias will hopefully also shift so the nuance of those um, themes will hopefully, you know, by, by the artist be taken on, be, be, be tackled with a sense of delicacy of that time and mm -hmm. wherever they are. So to, to sort of root it in the, um, what worked for us as the politics of the time might be a little bit... Uh, Short-sighted. Yeah, and yeah. restrictive. Um, yeah, because we've, yeah, even as we keep going, we're, um, uh, we've been quite deliberate about th the need to be more or less explicit as it's kind of gone on. But certainly in, in the creation of it, um, it was, uh, I feel like I learnt a lot uh, and, and uncovered a lot of my unconscious bias and, and also as a collective, um, we, we sort of really butted up against our inst instincts mm. of storytelling mm. um, where we would have um uh our our male characters all of a sudden just take on more responsibility of 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 characters and just that they, they would just become more three dimensional and then we'd pull ourselves back and go oh crap we've we've done we did it ourselves um okay 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 and then and then the the female characters you know if they if they had done something bad then there were those weird instincts to, and then dramaturgically they get punished in some way. And it was like, whoa, whoa what do we, we keep on, we kept on coming up against these, these, um... Things that were really easy in story and then things where we were like, gosh, yeah. this feels like a real brain yeah. crunch. Like, you're quite right, we talked a lot about, like, sort of male gaze and female gaze yeah. and sort of what that meant for, like, story as well. And I often said, you know, there was like a realisation that... We came to not to uh, not too long before we opened, where we were like, "Oh gosh, we've made a story about like this, this, and this, like this sort of very, very like tropey thing," which was like, we're, and we were deliberately trying not to. It was yeah. like, and then it sort of dawns on you that that was that's probably going to be our life's work as as artists to mm. try and deprogram in that way. And so, if this is just the first step and the first offering. That's also okay because mm. it is, it's a lot of work to, to deprogram. <laughs>